Greetings, everyone. And welcome to the uh, mural dedication of uh, the New London uh, Wall to Wall, the New London Mural Project. And on behalf of Hygienic Art and all the artists in the art community, I want to welcome you to another momentous occasion in our fair city. First off, I want to thank and rec recognize all these great artists who uh, did this amazing artwork in, in a limited amount of time and beautifully. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank uh, and introduce, if you want to step up, uh, Mark McKee and Shimin Liu, who did Songs of Our City. Michael McNabney and Troy Zosny, who did the Hard Hat Painters. Uh, uh, Peter Good and Jen Cummings, who did the Cabinet of Shells on the parking garage. And Russ Kramer, who is not here, and Katie Fogg, who did um, One Face, Many Cultures mural over here. And, and any of you artists who are with the New London Mural Alliance who helped, there are 26 artists who painted all these uh, faces. So if you're here, like, just come up and gather around. And um, it's... A, Michael McDuffie. And all the assistants from the Lyme Academy of Fine Arts who help with Songs of Our City. It's, yeah, thank you for all this work. This was a whirlwind project. The project was done uh, within uh, two months from uh, beginning to finished product. Uh, a month before that, uh, we got the selection committee that, that had 80 artists to submit works of art for this project. And it's amazing that this is all done in time on schedule and we have a lot of uh, artists that we need to be grateful for Woo! here tonight or today. So, um, we're moving right along as the storm is moving in. <laughs> and, uh, let's see, Kip. Okay, everyone's here. I also like to acknowledge uh, the New London City Council, Michael Passaro, Adam Spicacci, Wade Heislov, Marie Fries McSparren, Donald Macrino, John Maynard, and Anthony Nolan. If you're here, raise your hand or come on up. I mean, we partnered with the City of New London on this project, and I think, uh, you know, with a little paint, we've changed, we revitalized this whole area of New London. Um, and so, so this, this project uh, was uh, commissioned by, as a city canvases project with the DECD and Mr. Kip Burstrom. And one of the main things about this project was to create a, a cultural environment for people to come and live and work and create a cultural community uh, that, that would create jobs and beautify the city through public works of art. And to that end, uh, I think that in this project we've created uh, roughly 46 jobs for artists and it's been a catalyst for building owners to, to hire artists to actually paint more murals and there are actually 16 more murals since this project started uh, to be painted and paid for by individual building owners. So I think uh, through this project with the DECD, this has been a catalyst uh, for job creation. And I want to uh, thank Kip and um, his staff for doing this. Uh, and so I'd like to uh, bring up Kip, uh, pick Kip Burstrom from the Department of Economic and Community Development. So we did a city canvas unveiling here in May, and they, <clears throat> they had me and the mayor go up in a cherry picker, so I'm, I'm sure the mayor's, mayor's glad we're not doing that again. Um, but I want to uh, remind you all of a story I told then, um, adding to it a little bit. Um, the very, you know, sorry, I'm a tourism guy, and the very first destination marketing effort in America was by Captain John Smith, who was a co-founder of the Virginia Colony, and he wanted to get some of his countrymen from New England to settle this region, so he called it New England. So a generation later, the first governor of Connecticut, John Winthrop Jr., founded this city as the New London in the New England in the New World. And he exhorted his countrymen, particularly scientists, artists, writers, researchers, inventors, entrepreneurs, to come to New London in the New World where they could spread their wings unfettered by the strictures of the Old World. 
So I'm thinking, if John Winthrop Jr. was here today, he would be proud of what the city has done to achieve his vision and what the state has done in his wake. We have been at the center of every revolution in this country, in the arts, in politics, in economics. Connecticut has been at the center of it. We're still revolutionary. And, you know, the most revolutionary thing we've ever done as a species is public art. It's what defines us. It's what sets us apart. You know, the whales and dolphins have language, but they can't paint. <laughs> we started painting on caves, they now know, 40,000 years ago. So you figure we'd probably be good at it by now. Um, and those first paintings were just the artists putting up their hands on the wall and you know, blowing pigment around them. So their hands were stencils. And it was like they were saying, we're here, this is our place. And for 40,000 years, art has been making great places. And we continue to do it today. This was inspired in some ways by more recent history. 80 years ago, in the heart of the Depression, FDR started the WPA and a project called Paint America. And the idea was to employ artists and to use public art to hold up a mirror to America and to show us without any subterfuge our national character the vast, troubled, hopeful story that was America in the 1990s. It bravely showed us that national character and by doing so, helped us to forge a new future. Thomas Sargent Lafarge WPA mural in the US Post Office was part of the Paint America project, actually one of its best exhibits. And in a sense, he's the first of the 16 uh, of the wall-to-wall -wall New London mural walks and the inspiration for the rest in the deepest sense. I don't know if you know this, but New London possesses the largest mural walk in New England. And the city has boldly claimed to be the most art-centric in Connecticut. So they had the first launch of a city canvas project with the unveiling of the sublime and whimsical cabinet of shelves on the Water Street garage on May 16th. Now today we unveil another three. New London is a city that has long embraced the idea that art drives growth and Hygienic Art, one of our partners here today, has been leading the leading force behind that growth for 30 years. I think these three city canvas murals that we unveil today serve as flags in the ground for a new direction forward for our urban centers in our state. And in the future, we hope to see, see the field awash in flags. The city canvas murals and illuminations we have sponsored in seven cities represent an ever-present vitality in our communities and are just the next step of our community's ongoing emergence as alluring and welcoming places to work and play. Thank you. All right, thank you, Kip. I'd like to introduce now uh, the mayor of New London, Daryl Finizio. Well, thank you very much, Vinny, and thank you, Kip, and thank you to all who made today possible. I want to welcome you all to the city of New London, a city rich in history, rich in culture, rich in art and rich in diversity. Today is a great day to showcase what New London is all about. So I thank you for being here to celebrate this occasion. I do want to recognize a few of our dignitaries that are here. First and foremost, our United States Senator, who when he was Attorney General of the State of Connecticut, helped to save the hygienic art institution here in Connecticut, Senator Richard Blumenthal.
I also want to say a special word of thanks to our Lieutenant Governor, who I will always remember as the woman who walked the Irish parade in New London in high heels, <laughs> Nancy Wyman. We also want to thank our own New London State Representative, Ernest Hewitt, who is here. <laughs> along with State Representative from Waterford, Betsy Ritter. And if there is anyone else that I have missed, I apologize. Today exemplifies what can be done when the artistic talent of New London is unleashed. But to do that, we need strong partnerships within our community and with our state. And today would not be possible without the consistent leadership and the strong support, not only for the arts, but for our city as a whole that we have in our governor, the man I'm very proud to introduce to you to officially dedicate these murals, Governor Dan Malloy. Thank you, Mayor. To all of, uh, thank you very much to, to everyone, to, to the artists most particularly. Thank you for what you've uh, done. Uh, and to all of the guests and those that have been introduced and those who are uh, watching, thank you for, for being here. This is a great day for New London. Uh, I just had the high honor and privilege with some of the folks who were introduced to uh, travel uh, on the Eagle uh, and uh, see it uh, sail for the first time in at least 12 years, um, uh, come up uh, uh, to New London, turn around, and then uh, be docked. It was a magnificent sail on a magnificent day uh, that we honor our heritage in the War of 1812. Today, at this site, we honor our artists and our urban communities that house so many of America's artists. Art and cities go together. Cities are the place that people turn to to experience art in all of its forms. Uh, and to have uh, this occasion to mark these wonderful murals and to understand by this little project that the state started uh, some number of months ago that it has grown to another 16 murals is really quite fantastic. I want to thank the artists and the building owners and the community of Greater New London for their contributions to this effort. I also want to say, as I've said before about New London, I think that this is a great community. The level of, uh, uh, of architecture that has been, that has, uh, been pr preserved is really quite uh, uh, amazing. Uh, you have a new mayor who is doing great things himself. We have the opportunity uh, to build up uh, New London again, uh, beginning with great artists who celebrate our life, our history, uh, our art form, uh, and I want to just say thank you very much to Kip Bergstrom, who has uh, really guided this effort and uh, whose effort it was to put these canvases together. I want to thank him and uh, his boss, uh, Commissioner Smith for what they've uh, done. I'm going to start wrap this up very quickly, but this was a small idea to celebrate our urban areas and our artists. It has come together magnificently. No place better than New London. We are celebrating Connecticut again. He uh, referenced the term New England. Uh, things had gotten pretty bad and pretty beat up in Connecticut for a period of time. We actually stopped paying our dues to the folks who uh, were promoting uh, visitation in New, New England. There are actually maps out there published just a few years ago that have New England depicted without Connecticut. <laughs> we are back. New London is back. Our art community is back. We're growing jobs. We're building housing. We're going to move this community and every community forward. Thank you and God bless you all. Thanks. Thank you, Governor Malai. Uh, I'm just letting you know that next week, next Saturday, will be the launch of Wall to Wall, the New London Mural Walk at Hygienic Art Park. And that's at 1 p.m., so everyone come back. And if you want some maps of the walk, we have them right here. So thank you all for coming. Enjoy the day. <laughs>